Massive news out of Norman. Running back coach DeMarco Murray is, in fact, staying put at Oklahoma to be the running backs coach. Ohio State was in the mix there for a little bit, but he is staying at Oklahoma to break it all down from Sooner Scoop. Best in the game. Unofficial, official mayor of Norman, Oklahoma, Eddie Radosevich. Eddie, what was the surprise level that DeMarco Murray ended up staying home and, and staying where he played ball? I don't think that it was a surprise as much that he's staying in Norman as much as it was a surprise come Friday morning, or I guess it would have been Wednesday morning of last week when uh, we show up to the office and it had turned into a situation that I don't think a whole lot of people thought there was really going to be a whole lot of interest in DeBarco's side and moving to Ohio State. But then when that became a reality last Wednesday, there was about a 45 minute period where I think Oklahoma fans might have thought that DeBarco Murray was actually going to leave. Uh, certainly good news. It was a little bit of a scare. He's been pushed by some NFL teams here as of late uh, for other running back positions. But, uh, you know, all in all, it's good. I think from just a uh, perspective angle of, of not losing uh, DeMarco Murray, somebody that's been a, a prominent member of this coaching staff, a prominent member of the program. And, uh, you know, moving forward, I think that with what they've been able to uh, kind of rebuild that running back room, uh, last year was a little bit of a, it was it was a big question mark as far as what they had in that running back room. But I think totality of it is, it's obviously good news that DeMarco will be staying in Norman. No, you read my mind. I was going to say the optics of it, if he leaves is, Hey, a guy who played here, a guy who who is you know been here for a long time, and then he ends up going somewhere else. You're like, hey, what's what's the belief like for Demarco Murray and a Brent Venables coached Oklahoma? Flipping that on its head, the fact that he's choosing to stay has to mean something good in terms of where he believes this team is headed as they move into the SEC. Correct? Yeah, and I think that you know there is a continuity within the staff that when they elevated Seth Luttrell to co-offense coordinator alongside Joe John Finley, I we know that Demarco was somebody that was a voice in that room that uh, was in favor of it and keeping everybody together with Bill Beatenbow as well as Emmett Jones, who had a spectacular first year in Norman. I think it's a good thing moving forward. There's going to be some questions as Oklahoma heads back into spring ball this uh, this afternoon, actually. Uh, you know, kind of about what Javante Barnes is, where he was a year ago. That was, uh, you know, I think a big question mark, and it's going to be a big question mark moving forward. But when you see what Gavin Sawchuk was able to do with the back end of the uh, schedule last year, he had the five consecutive games over 100 yards. It was a running game that was probably a little bit better than people want to remember it as. And uh, and then obviously with Taylor Tatum coming in, Xavier Robinson from just up at the, up the street in Midwest City, they feel like this is a, a really, really good room moving forward. And, you know, the guy that kind of went under the radar that they added in the transfer portal was Samuel Franklin from Tennessee Barton. Uh, he was up for the Peyton uh Walter Payton award last year. Uh, he's going to be kind of an interesting guy here moving forward through the spring to see kind of what that room is, but you got to like what they are coming back. Well, I was going to ask that as they move into spring ball, what's kind of the feel right now for Oklahoma? Cause there's, you know, a lot of noise around the over under win total. And a lot of people had folks to say after Brent Benable's first year in Norman, what's the feel right now for their first year in the sec internally? Yeah, I think that there's a cautious optimism. I think that, you know, they feel like offensively they could be really good under Seth Luttrell, and it's going to be contingent upon what you get from the offensive line. That's probably the position group right now that is uh, going to need to take the biggest step in the guys that they lost off of last year's team. You're getting some guys coming in from the transfer portal that are going to be dependent upon, uh, you know, coming this season. And, you know, obviously it kind of starts with, uh, with Jackson Arnold at the helm, and this is his program moving forward with Dylan Gabriel headed up to Oregon. It's I, I, There's a lot of really good pieces with this offense it's going to be contingent upon that offensive line if they can play well I think that Oklahoma fans and you know certainly people within the program think that they could be a really good offense here moving forward Eddie the Oklahoma social team before we got on the air here maybe this morning they put out a tweet and it's a clip from practice Jackson Arnold just throwing just a dot on the run and I'm like okay I'm sold like hey give me the Kool-Aid pass it this way I want to make sure I get my healthy dose that before the football season starts uh, what's the feel right now with Jackson Arnold and where he stands coming into spring practice yeah, I mean, I, I think that the sky's the limit for him. I think that there's a lot of people within the program that feel like he's going to be the next great Oklahoma quarterback. Uh, and that's, you know, obviously bouncing back from an Alamo Bowl that he turns the ball over six times. But within that game, you saw flashes of what people were coming to known as uh, as Jackson Arnold. And I think that there is some obvious arm talent there. Uh, he's going to probably have some missteps going through the uh, freshman season in the SEC and kind of learning himself as a starter. But He's going to be really, really good. I think it's just going to be uh, kind of fun to see how it, how it shapes up here over the next couple of years. There's a lot of people excited about Jackson Arnold and his future in Norman. Well, add me to that list of people excited about the Jackson Arnold hype train. I'm on there. I'm excited for it, man. And I, Eddie, I appreciate you making time to make sense of 
everything going on in Norman from spring practice to DeMarco Murray staying put. Y'all to make sure you're dialed in for all things Oklahoma membership at Sooner Scoop. Eddie Radosevich, Kerry Murdoch, George Stoy just crushing all the coverage over there. So get a membership. You will not be sorry. Eddie, we appreciate you making some time, man. We'll do it again here real soon. Interesting times in Norman with everything that comes with uh, the move to the SEC. And yeah, it's going to be a really fun spring and obviously a really fun football season for Oklahoma in a new uh, conference. Oklahoma fans, if you liked that video, make sure you go get a membership over at Sooner Scoop. They're going to keep you in the know for all things involving your Sooners. Also, subscribe right here to the On3 Roundtable YouTube channel.